Hi there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope that you're doing well. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Mirko and I post mostly about men's fashion, lifestyle and grooming. I would love you if you joined on this uh, YouTube journey that I have. Uh, so if you haven't yet, please, please support my YouTube channel and please subscribe. Today's video is going to be really dedicated to uh, grooming in my grooming routine, what I do uh, with my hair basically, because I think it's quite important. I've covered this topic a little bit in my morning routine and maybe in my get ready with me uh, video as well, but I didn't really talk about my grooming routine uh, in detail. So I decided to do that today. So let's start with my hair first and obviously sort of move down uh, with, my, with my routine. So my hair, I do my hair uh, every day. I obviously wash it and blow dry it every day. I think I did a video on that, a dedicated video a while ago. It has changed a little bit since then, but I think that the bases are still there. So that video is uh, there. The link is there. So if you wanted to check it out, you can see that there. I cut my hair every three weeks, I would say. I go to my barber, my local barber that I've been going to for at least two years, on and off obviously with the pandemic, but I've been going to the same barber for probably two years now. Uh, I go every three weeks and we mostly do the same thing, a fade on the side uh, from zero to, I'm not even sure what length uh, around here because it's usually with the scissors, not with the, obviously the machine. Uh, so from the zero to whatever length, uh, same on obviously on this side as well. Uh, it is a bit longer now, uh, I'm, I think I'm going in a few days, so it's been more than two weeks that I've had my last haircut. And on the top, I usually try to just have a healthy hair. So because I blow dry my hair every day, basically, I do tend to have quite dry hair and quite dry uh, ends. So that's why I try to have as much as uh, healthy hair as, as possible. And that's why I try to grow my hair at the top and have a kind of a really nice length. But also if it's dry or if it's damaged or anything like that, I do ask to be cut so I don't really I'm not afraid to have my hair cut although it does take a while to grow so at the moment uh, it's quite short uh, last time that I've uh, been to my barber he has cut probably about this because it was uh, damaged and I didn't really enjoy the land because it was also quite hot so I was like just take it off basically so uh, my hair is quite uh, high maintenance for some people when when I say to someone Oh, I do my hair every day. Uh, they, they, they're like, oh, that's a lot of work. But to me, I think it's quite uh, important. I don't really like myself with the short hair. So I've sort of developed this routine where I would do my hair first thing in the morning and it takes me like 15, 20 minutes altogether. Uh, so that's not uh, a too long, I, I don't think. So that's what I do with my hair. Uh, with the beard, I think that... Uh, I do like my sort of beard to be tidy, so I don't really like when it's too long or anything like that. Uh, I'm in a way not as lucky with my beard because it's not a proper beard, as you can tell. I don't really have a strong beard he here on the side, on the cheeks and here, and that's why I try to have a tidy uh, really often because when it grows, it doesn't look nice because it's only like a a spot uh, of the hair and it's not like a proper beard basically so I try to have a mustache because I think I look a bit older with that so I shorten uh, the mustache and this part of the, the beard here I use this uh, from Wilkinson it's quite old and it's really affordable I think this is like 10 pounds or maybe even less than that so uh, this is something that really works with my beard because it's quite short and this is probably the only one that I've found so far uh, that I can use it to shorten my beard. So I shorten uh, these sort of bits and my mustache with this end and I try to do that every day, uh, sometimes maybe every second day or something like that and I would just shorten it and tidy it as much as I can. And obviously on here, as I said, I don't really have a proper beard and that's why I try to get rid of it uh, as much as I can. Uh, because when, when it does grow, it doesn't look nice, at least in my opinion. So uh, obviously I use a razor for that. Uh, this is the one that I'm using uh, most often. This one is from Harry's. Uh, this is like the, the, the attachments 
you can just buy separate and you always keep this which i think it's also probably better for the environment so uh, obviously as i said i get rid of these bits because i just like it when it's sort of uh, cleaner and it does look uh, like it's been taken care of so uh, uh, nothing special about it just a normal shave and uh, i just keep these these bits i think it's the sort of routine that i've developed but what i'm trying to say is that if you're not happy with certain parts of your beard or hair or anything like that just find a routine that works for you find something that will work at the moment i'm quite happy with I, what i do maybe down the line in like six months i'll decide to get rid of the beard completely or i don't know i'll decide to grow what i have who knows but at the moment this is something that I found it works for me so just maybe the combination of different tools will also help your beard if you're like me and struggles with growing the beard or has I don't know everyone is different obviously so just uh, trying to find something that works for you next up on my face uh, I do try to take care of my brows because I don't really like when they're too messy I mean they're not the biggest brows that there is but when they do grow they do look quite messy and I had like people saying to me, oh, I would like to, you to like get rid of uh, this or that. It just like, sometimes I do find them like really annoying because they like poke into someone's like face. It's, it's strange. Basically, uh, what I try to do with my uh, brows is just to get rid of the, the, the brows here, like any hair that grows in between and here at the bottom because that's where it's the messiest. Occasionally, like sometimes I would go to a place that does brows and like I would have it done professionally, but most of the time I do it at, at home. So I have this one, uh, this is from uh, Tweezerman Tweezers basically. So I use this just to like get rid of the, the hairs in between. I would just literally tidy this in the middle and just like under it my brows. Just so that it's like sort of tidy, I don't really know how to style them. I don't even know how to make a shape of them. Sometimes I would like make uh, something with my brows and like I would look after that and like it's not even like symmetric so like what the hell I've done. But most of the time I do it at home. Occasionally as I said, I used like before the pandemic and before the lockdowns, I think that there was like a lot more places at least around me. And now that I moved, I haven't even found a new place to go to. And I used to go to a professional place before like sometimes even on the, like the stations or like shopping malls or something like that I would go to someone that would do it professionally like it within a few minutes and it's like you have a really nice shape but to be honest at the moment I, I can't really be bothered and I do it at home most of the time at the moment next thing that I do on my face is just getting rid of the hairs from my nose uh, I think that's quite important although that most people would forget about it or like they wouldn't really worry about it unless it's like poking out of their nose and I honestly I hate that like whenever I see that on someone and to be honest that's like mostly for older people but I just like look looks disgusting like just get rid of that like to be honest like that's my opinion so to do get rid of that I have this uh, like shaver and there is this attachment for that so it's nothing special it literally takes a couple of seconds you just get rid of the any hairs that are sticking out like not completely because I think they are quite important to stop anything coming to your nose like the dust or anything like that but just don't let them uh, coming out of your nose because it's not it doesn't look nice I don't think so you can also use this attachment for your ears if you have any hairs coming out of your ears or anything like that I think that's also something that you should get rid of as well uh, unless you have uh, I don't know if you like them keep them but I would personally use it for that as well so it's quite easy to get rid of it and in my opinion it's probably just uh, better to get rid of them than to have uh, really large hairs basically so that's what I do with my face and sort of my uh, head I would say that's what I do uh, on either as I said with hair every few weeks and for the beard most uh, most of the days next up what i do with my body so this is something that i really struggled with to find something that works for, uh, for me i remember like initially i was really confused what i should do with that because i don't know like initially when i sort of started to get uh, any like proper hair on my body i was like 
I don't really like this, but then in the same time, it's such high maintenance to get rid of it. Like it just it became such a this weird thing to, about my body that I didn't really know how to deal with, to be honest. And a few years ago, uh, I sort of I tried shaving it, and then it was just too like my skin was too dry. My skin is already quite dry, and imagine like shaving that type of skin. It doesn't look like no matter how much moisturizer you put it's always dry, like it, it's just so bizarre. Started reducing the amount of hair that I had. Like no, my body is not the most hairy that there is, but I do have uh, a quite uh, sort of, the chest is quite hairy, also like my stomach, like my legs as well. My, my hands are quite, like not quite, but I would say there is like some hair, especially because my most, um, I mean my hair is black, so is definitely noticeable. So what I started to do is just to like uh, cut my hair. So I wouldn't shave it, I would just use the same trimmer that I showed you with a different attachment. So I literally just use this to just shorten my hair like on, on my chest mostly and on my stomach. Uh, that's where the areas that I just care about the most and I just find it the easiest probably to, to do it on there because I I just do it every like couple of days, it doesn't grow as fast so you can literally like if you if you can't be bothered today do it tomorrow and most of the time I find it uh, that I do it uh, every uh, sort of three to four days so maybe like twice a week or something like that so I get rid of the hair on my chest and on my stomach those are the areas that I really don't like having the hair on and also under uh, under my arms because those are also, I find it a lot cleaner to remove the hair there, especially during the summer, it's, I don't know, I sweat, especially if I exercise, I find that it's just a lot cleaner if I don't have hair uh, in my under my arms as well and on my chest and as I said, stomach. So those are the areas that I try to get rid of my hair. I can't honestly be asked to do anything with my arms because uh, I don't think that the hair is as noticeable and honestly I don't even know what it would look like without the hair so at the moment I'm happy with it maybe like I don't know it would probably be less of the maintenance the whole sort of uh, chest area and all obviously the stomach if I did a laser treatment basically but I'm not really too bothered to spend that sort of type of money on that and it's not really taking as much of my time at the moment to to shorten this uh, sort of area what I do rest, uh, with the rest of my body. I don't really do anything with my legs. Uh, they are quite hairy, as you can probably tell. Uh, yeah, I'm showing you my legs now. But uh, I don't do anything with it because it do just doesn't really bother me. It's not something that, like, I don't know, I never really looked at and thought like, oh, I really don't like this hair and I want to uh, get rid of it. So at the moment I'm happy with it. I don't really do anything with, with my legs. The intimate area is something that I think is quite important uh, and that's why I want to mention it. So, uh, intimate area is something that I sort of... I think that everyone went through that in the puberty because initially I thought that like, oh, I don't really like the hairs there so I'll just shave them. That was probably the worst decision because it didn't really work for me. Like, I don't know, but I don't really find that experience like something that I could maintain because it's just taking so much time it's also very painful after that so that's why I don't really I've done it once and I've never after that shaved my uh, like testicles or anything like that so I know that it might sound disgusting but this is the reality basically so I don't do like I don't shave there I uh, do the same thing that I do with my chest I literally I'll just cut it and just maintain it so that it's sort of clean but not sort of uh, overgrown or something that is, I don't know, I just don't think that this is like a taboo, that's why I talk about it, so that's why I think it's quite important to just maintain it, like if you are struggling with uh, that area, just try to find something that works for you, maybe the shaving will work, but to me I think it's probably the best just to shorten it and then it just a less maintenance basically. So what I do is literally remove uh, any attachments because there is for this one, there is like the one uh, that you can like adjust the length with. I don't really use that so I, what I do is literally use this attachment. So this is like zero. So literally you just basically pull the skin and literally just use this. It's not gonna be 
the shortest because obviously you're not gonna use razor but I think it's also less painful it's also there is less a chance of, of obviously getting hurt or anything like that so I don't know that's the, the routine that I found that works best for me and I don't think that I would change it to be honest so yeah that that is that uh, if you I don't know if you have any suggestions to me because I think that for most of these things I try to educate myself online because I don't know I have always found that quite important to like for a personal hygiene taking care of any hair and on your body and on your head as well so if you have any suggestions I think that I've tried to educate myself as much as possible uh, I found that it's quite important also what type of tools are you using because I know that I'm using quite basic tools that I showed you I mean they're probably the most basic and most affordable tools that you can get but I found that there are special tools or sort of special type of razors and, and blades for men and for men's body and skin which is something that I've not really uh, searched and looked into properly and I've not tried so if you have any suggestions in that area or a brand or anything like that that you think it's quite good or you tried it's gonna work for men in general I think that you should definitely mention it maybe in the comments or something like that because I would definitely be interested in to uh, trying something else that might uh, help me or might make the process a lot quicker uh, in general so so yeah this is this is basically my grooming routine uh, I just wanted to have that in one video where I'll cover all of this so yeah hope that you enjoyed it uh, if you have any suggestions as I said please mention them down below uh, in the comments and thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video uh, and I will see you next week